Good morning. We're standing in a Sauvignon Blanc vineyard in the middle of Yontville that I have managed since 2003. And it's a relatively very healthy vineyard and by all aspects, as you can see by the crop load in here. Uh, a couple of cultural things that we've done in this vineyard is have a permanent cover crop, as you can see by these grasses that are still a little bit green. We don't irrigate at all. It's primarily uh, rye and fescues that were planted about eight years ago, and we just mow in here a couple, three times a year. There's no cultivation, and as you can see, here's our canes from the past pruning seasons that are laying in here. And it's a very healthy soil, actually, because we're not disturbing the earthworms, we're not disturbing a lot of things, and there's a lot of aeration going through the system from the top down. So even when it rains, it's much like a sponge and it takes the waters down into the root system. And it's very easy to walk on and to work on at all times of the year, even in the wintertime when it's raining. A lot of times we'll come out to vineyards and prune where we have the grass culture because it's a very solid floor, unlike a cultivated floor that can have six or eight inches of give and lots of mud on your boots. So this is a very forgiving floor to, to work on at all times of the year. Uh, the drip systems here only if we need to inject fertilizers, but other than that we don't do any irrigation We also have this vineyard on a split canopy Which means there's a uh, cordons on this side as well as on the other side to display the fruit zone a Lot more and have an open center again. This is a typical Sauvignon Blanc vineyard. It's very healthy and again We try to devigorate it in other words try to limit its growth and its capabilities as well as its capacity and set a moderately good crop. Um, we don't add anything to increase the crop load. It's pretty much what we see year in and year out. So this is a, roughly a third of a pound cluster of Sauvignon Blanc, maybe a quarter pound, third of a pound. You can see they're pretty condensed, tightly packed in here, very little or no rot at all. Uh, which is a good thing. We didn't want to see rot at all, even with all the foggy days that we've had in the month of August. And as I pull a few leaves, expose some more clusters, you can see how well they're displayed, open, not stacked on top of each other. And as you can look inside here, we've got some leaves that are desiccating, which is a good thing this close to harvest. In fact, this fruit will be picked today or tomorrow. And uh, again, this is a very nice display of fruit, and it's not a special vine that we picked out. It's just a vine that's here in the row. And as, as we pan on down, you'll see pretty much more of the same. As we pull a few more leaves, expose the fruit. I only sprayed in this vineyard for mildew prevention five times this year and included bunch rot preventative materials as well. And that means that we're trying to minimize any mildew or have no mildew and keep the bunch rot from starting within the clusters. And uh, so again, it's a very clean program, very precise, usually in the months of April, late April, May, and June. We try to, like I say, on a two-week, 14-day interval spray in here to keep the vineyard clean and the grapes clean. We want to be on the preventative sides of, of any fungus disease, mildew or bunch rots, because if you get mildew or bunch rots started, then it's very costly to try to correct that problem. So again, preventative is the key. Timing is a key. Using the right products is a key. Those are all very good factors on how well your mildew program is for the year.